converting a Pixie transceiver into an AM transmitter with just a few extra parts. Watch this video and find out how. This is a block diagram of the converted Pixie. The crystal oscillator is much the same, as is the power amplifier, while the audio amplifier using the LM386 has been made into a modulator. Instead of the output going into headphones, it goes to drive the power amplifier stage's supply rail. The input for the LM36 is connected to an electric microphone via the potentiometer, which was previously used to adjust the transmit-receive frequency offset. The low-pass filter is much the same, as is the antenna connection. If you want to go for the AM Pixie, make that decision before you insert and solder the components. That's because it can be a little bit fiddly to desolder components that you don't need. Overall, you won't be putting in as many components if you're doing this mod as with the original Pixie. That's because the Pixie is a transceiver, whereas this project is just a transmitter. There are a few extra parts you'll need that aren't supplied with the Pixie kit. These include a 4.7 ohm resistor, a 10 ohm resistor, a 1 nanofarad disk ceramic capacitor, possibly a 100 nanofarad disk ceramic capacitor, and the electric microphone. It looks more complex than it is. These are the modifications I made to the Pixie to convert it to an AM transmitter. Coming into the 100 nanofarad, you can have an audio source, such as I had with a voice recorder module, or audio from a microphone. If you're just using a rocking armature microphone, the input won't be enough. You do need to add a one transistor stage to provide some amplification. However, I used an electric microphone, and that did provide sufficient gain if you're close talking. The bias voltage for the electric microphone is provided via a 10k resistor and that is already provided because there's a part of the circuit that uses the 10k resistor not used in the transmitter modification and we just use that same resistor for the electric microphone. Now the circuit in detail. On the left is the transmitter's crystal oscillator, on the right it's RF power amplifier, on the far right the low pass filter Pi network and up here at the top is the LM386 modulator. As mentioned before the audio output pin 5 goes to the supply of the power amplifier transistor via the 22 microhenry RF choke. The bias for the electric microphone comes via a 10k resistor which is reused from another part of the circuit and that drives the LM386 modulator. The circuit that I have may be different to the one that you get when you order the Pixie, so I'm not sure how meaningful it is to refer to designations like C2, W1, D3, etc. 
it's probably better to look at the circuit diagram of the original Pixie and then look at the modified diagram and see how you can make the changes with your particular unit. This is a test transmission. This is what it sounds like on air. Testing the modified Pixie. This is a test transmission from VK3YE. This has been a Pixie challenge. It sounds harder than it is, and I'd suggest you refer to the circuits again to show the difference between the Pixie as an AM transmitter and for Pixie as a CW transceiver. The AM transmitter bit is actually simpler using fewer parts than the CW transceiver. It's only a couple of hundred milliwatts and I wouldn't regard it as a serious project. In fact, it's very unlikely that you'll get replies to CQ calls at all. However, if conditions are right and if you're able to set up tests, you may still be heard hundreds of kilometres away under favourable conditions. If you've built it, let us know the results in the comment section below. Or use it if you've got other ideas on what to do with the Pixie.